variations in hair color, skin color, feather color. These are common in nature. We can see them in diverse mammals and one can observe uh, differences in skin and hair color even among apes such as gibbons and chimps. Therefore, it is not surprising that there are variations uh, in hair color and skin color uh, which occurred in human populations as groups were isolated from each other over time. Now, there are many non-biological reasons why uh, these differences might occur, but one could ask, is there any advantage to having, say, a specific skin color, at least in certain parts of the world? And the answer is that there are two known biological examples where the answer is clearly yes. First of all, ultraviolet light can cause mutations when ultraviolet light causes neighboring DNA nucleotides known as thymines to adhere to each other. Uh, when they stick together, in the next round of cell replication, these two nucleotides could be mistaken for one, and therefore when DNA is replicated, a mistake is made. The more mistakes which accumulate, the greater one's risk of cancer. And so therefore, when one is exposed to a great deal of sunlight, especially if one lived closer to the equator, then having darker skin with more of the pigment melanin, which absorbs ultraviolet light, would be an advantage. It would be a protection from skin cancer. However, if one lives farther from the equator, where there is less sunlight and perhaps a greater difference in the amount of sunlight in different seasons, then darker skin would limit the amount of vitamin D which is made in the skin. While it is possible to get vitamin D from one's diet, most individuals do not get enough vitamin D from their diet, and therefore a major source of vitamin D is sunlight hitting the skin where cholesterol is converted into vitamin D. As populations of early humans migrated away from tropical regions into areas which were farther from the equator and had uh, less sunlight in seasons like winter, then apparently there was an advantage in lessening the amount of melanin made in the skin because this would then increase the amount of vitamin D which would be made in the skin. If one were to have a vitamin D deficiency, that could cause a number of problems, such as decreased absorption of calcium from the small intestine, which could re uh, result in a weakening of the skeleton. But also, uh, vitamin D deficiencies can cause other effects, uh, such as increased risk of cancer, overproduction of inflammatory local hormones in the immune system, and others. And so as we look at the gene sequences of uh, the genes which determine hair and skin pigment, it is clear that the earliest humans had dark skin and dark hair. And in certain parts of the world, changes were made uh, to these ancestral versions of genes to allow for less melanin to be made. And while Europeans and Asians share a few of these changes, many uh, appeared in Europeans and Asians separately. So it appears that as early uh, humans migrated throughout the world, some of the populations which reached areas farther from the equator where there was uh, a longer winter season with decreased sunlight uh, evolved separate mechanisms to limit melanin production, uh, seemingly with the advantage of increasing the amount of vitamin D which would be made in the skin.